Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Let's talk about ankle carry. I have an ankle carry holster. I carry at the ankle on occasion. It's not my primary way to carry. It has some advantages and disadvantages, so that is what this video is about. Now, one of the greatest advantages would be if you are driving for the majority of your day or you are seated for the majority of your day. In that case, your knees are already bent, it could be a quick draw. If you wear long pants, okay, and you can't carry at the hip for whatever reason, you don't feel comfortable in the pocket, ankle carry is not a bad way to go. It makes for an excellent backup choice. And I have an ankle carry holster right here. Probably nothing is more concealable than carrying on the ankle because it just covers up so well nobody would know all right and it's it's it can be comfortable but it could also be uncomfortable depending on what gun you choose to carry in the ankle now i heard people say well i carry a glock 26 in the ankle to me that would be too heavy <laughs> all right for comfort reasons now it has to be rather snug on your leg most of the time it's velcro that attaches together the one that I have is okay. I'm not recommending this one. I'm not even saying what kind it is. But it requires practice. More practice than drawing from the hip. Drawing from the hip is easy to practice. I've been to many training classes where we have done all types of drills. Drawing firearm from the hip. Not one can I remember that we ever practiced drawing from the ankle. So it does require practice so if you're seating or if you're seated all day or you're driving all day great benefit if you want it for a backup great benefit if you want deep concealability great benefit some of the disadvantages it's not that comfortable all right it's primarily because you have to keep it rather tight and it sometimes can bounce around if you move around a lot it bounces around doesn't feel as secure as it should be now there are all kinds of ankle holsters i'll let uh, you decide which one is best for you but when drawing from the ankle it is important that you learn to pull up your pants and draw typically it has a strap here draw like that you will probably shoot from your knee position when drawing from the ankle most of these have a strap that goes around the gun. So not only do you have to pull up your leg pant, you have to undo the strap and then draw. That may not seem like a lot, but it's actually a lengthy process considering this is so much quicker. So you have to practice and you probably are going to use a small gun. Now, the Micro 380s would be a good choice. This is a Diamondback DB9 Gen 4. I would carry this in the ankle. Anything other, anything heavier than that, I would avoid because, in my opinion, it's just too heavy and cumbersome to keep at the ankle. So the draw is not very quick, and the practice required is pretty intense to get good but if you can do that and you have the space to step forward and draw from the ankle then that would be a pretty good way to carry for you most people step forward and pull out like this but also they can step backward and pull out depending on the situation that you are in and the the space that you have to work with now it is a great backup I know a lot of police officers carry in the ankle and they feel they feel confident with that um, once again it limits the type of gun that you could use dependent upon the size and weight of your handgun and the type of ankle holster that you have okay you have to have one that straps on the top of your cap and places the gun down by your ankle and there's a strap down there too if you don't have that or you get one of those cheap ones they sell at the gun show, which is a, a one-piece Velcro, I don't even waste your time. Those are garbage. Guaranteed. I had one before. It doesn't stay still. It bounces around a little bit. So you have to have a double-strap ankle holster. And if you can get it to work for you, 
then it's a great backup. If it's, it has to be your primary and you're seated all the time, then that's your preferred style of carry and I'm sure it'll work well for you. It is a method that is effective for many people. And like I said, I do it on occasion, but for excellent concealability, backup purposes, and while you're driving, long road trips would be a good time to ankle carry. Those would all be advantages, and I'm sure I'll hear back in the comments about the situations that people incurred when ankle carrying, and I look forward to that. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.